In this video, we're going to be using HCNC White Star Cool Stream and the Apollo Light Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in folks, welcome in. Today, as mentioned before, we're gonna be using the HCNC White Star sort of label soap and it comes in a bar format like this and it is a budget level offering from HCNC. The cost on this is $5.25 for this puck or you can buy the container with the puck and all together it's like $8.25. This is three ounces, again for $5.25 and on a cost chart there, that is an exceptional $2.75 an ounce. This again is meant to be HCNC's budget offering. It is quite firm to the touch, coat, so probably very good value on this one. And again, this one is scented like Cool Stream, or I don't know if I said that at all to be honest, but it's scented like sort of like Davidoff Cool Water, which is a very nice scent. I'm gonna put the ingredients of this on the screen right there. And keep in mind, again, this is not meant to compete with Pete's top shelf base, which is very, very good. Although I lathered this one, I think I got a pretty decent lather with it, although it's been sitting uh, for a while while I've been doing other things. But we look forward to using this today. Very, very budget friendly. So $5.25 or $8.25 if you buy the container. So really good value and who can't use a good value today? The razor for today is just a superb razor. One of my favorite razors of all time. This is the Apollo Light razor out of uh, Ukraine and right now I mean our prayers go out to the folks in Ukraine I actually sent an email to the Smart Helix the Smart Helix is the brand and this is the Apollo light razor just a email of encouragement but I know right now things are just bad um, so thoughts and prayers with the folks in Ukraine we thought we would use this today this is a phenomenal razor in my opinion one of the best in the world so let's get to it enough yapping let's get to the shaving I hope you're having a great day so far and we're going to start by misting the face and this is just plain water if you're new and we will apply our white star again 525 for three ounces which is nice and Pete also when I made my order he sent this black Bow, which I like a lot. Now the inside is not black, the outside is a sort of a matte black. I like that look a lot, so great job Pete on that. I'll probably end up giving away my old one when I get home, so be on the lookout for that. But I think it got a pretty nice lather. It did not build as much volume. It did not go creamy as quickly as the top shelf, but you know, the top shelf is the top shelf. But this I think is gonna be more than adequate um, for the purpose of a shave, at least, you know, given how the lather looks, it looks quite good. But again, I wanted to re reiterate what Pete told me was this is not meant to be a replacement for his top shelf. Um, this is a budget offering for those you looking to, looking for sort of a deep discount. And honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something I've said many times over the years. In order to get a good shave, meaning a good serviceable shave that feels good, you don't have to spend six five six seven dollars an ounce you just don't you could buy something like this and if i'm doing my job today shaving well this is going to provide for a great shave almost assuredly i do not expect any problems but we'll see you, you always have to try it first before you form uh, an opinion but what's required to get a great shave is mostly in my opinion you lathering whatever soap you have to get the best out of it that will give you the best shave it's not necessarily the soap itself although it matters um you matter a lot more. Oh man, and the blade matters a lot too, I think. So today, we have a fresh nasset in here, brand new on its first use, and this razor is just spectacular. It's probably nearly impossible to get right now because of what's going on in Ukraine, but um, hopefully if things get settled there, once again, Smart Helix will be able to provide some razors. Their website is still up right now. However, I don't know how they'd be able to do fulfillment right now. But I tell you what, this razor is just phenomenal. Definitely one of my top razors, not only of right now, but all time. It's, it's fantastic. Smooth. The fit and finish is fantastic. The 
packaging on it, superb. Um, just really, I can't say enough good things about it. And just for the razor with one plate, I think it was around $175. They do have different plate options. They have a one plate and two plate with it, and I'm using the two plate today, which is a little more efficient. And it just feels great. I love this razor. Very nice. Oh yeah, that is, that is just great stuff right there. Excellent first pass. No problem whatsoever with the soap. And honestly, I didn't expect there would be, and I say this all the time. Trust me, people. It's more important that you lather the soap well than worrying about spending a great deal of money from, for the soap in terms of the shave. Now, if you're talking about uh, skin conditioning after the shave, you may want to buy whatever work, works best in that regard. But just for the purpose of getting the shave mechanically, um, just about any soap will do. And this $5, $5.25 white star, $5.25. And again, it's quite firm to the touch. So really good value here. And I got a pretty decent lather up. I would say it didn't lather up as quickly nor as creamy uh, as the top shelf, but it's not bad. It's not bad, not bad at all. And so I always enjoy having a nice value, especially right now, you know, we talked about it yesterday with things being more costly, your essentials, the things that you need to buy every day becoming more costly Hobbies, you don't spend as much. I certainly will not be spending as much. So I'm looking for value and the the companies who do value best are probably gonna get more of my business. Now that is not to say I won't buy soaps that aren't in the value realm because you know that's what we do here as a hobbyist, but I won't make a st steady diet of it. So I think the move right now is to try to understand that the customers are also being pinched and something like this White Star is excellent, you know. Um, for people you really looking to get a lot of bang for the buck. But again, you might have to work a little more to lather it. Um, but at its cost, you know, if it takes you a few more minutes or a couple more minutes, no big deal. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. The rays are just gliding with no problem. So I'm not detecting any quality issues whatsoever with the soap here. Oh, that's beautiful. Sometimes you just... You get a shave and the way the razor glides along, just it just feels beautiful. And this Apollo Light is just fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and re-lather for a quick cross pass here. Today it's cold outside. It had, it's already been as high as 80, over 80 degrees Fahrenheit here in Charlotte. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but 80 is pretty warm. And to, this morning outside, I think it's in the 20s. And it's, you know, spring. <laughs> So, and I know at home, where my wife is, uh, they were supposed to get like four to seven inches of snow, and it was supposed to be maybe even down in the single digits. First day of spring? Come on, man. Spring! We need the spring to spring. <laughs> and it had been here, and then it took this little cold snap. But that's okay. That's okay. Mother Nature does as she will, I guess. Oh, man. Smooth and nice. Again, in terms of slickness and all that, the white star here is doing just fine. I'm not having any issues at all, as you can see there. Razor gliding very nicely. And I have to say, it's kind of hard for me not to use that this razor more. I like to rotate through the razor so I can show you different things, you know. But this will be one of my top five razors, without a doubt, of all time. That's how much I like the razor. Sadly, right now... It's probably not a razor you can obtain, but again, I'm, I'm just hoping that things will work out for the folks in Ukraine. Um, it's very hard to watch the news and see what's going on. And our hearts are with you, especially Andre from Lancaster. His family is still in Ukraine, some of his family, that is. And uh, it's really hard to watch people suffering that way. But anyway, we don't want to get off on a Politics here, we want to continue with this amazing razor from the Ukraine. Oh man, that is fantastic. Wow. Every time I've used this razor, I've been impressed with it. It just feels great. Let's go ahead and do another quick cross pass. I have to say the uh, the White Star today has held out pretty good. Again, you might have to spend a little more time lathering it to give it get it to the consistency you want because it's not going to burst into a creamy lather. It's going to start out maybe a little bit I wouldn't call it foamy, but a little more to the airy side of things. 
as opposed to super creamy. But once I kept uh, slowly adding water with my sprayer, I got it where I needed to get it. Took me a little longer, but uh, overall the result, pretty doggone good, I can't complain. And don't forget, if you buy from HCNC, use promo code IMCDB, and he will send you a free gift. I think I forgot to mention that <laughs> at the beginning. I always forget, but that's okay. Oh man, what a smooth shave today. I could use this one, let me tell you, because I've, uh, I've had a lot going on here. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, today is one of those days where you have the shave, and after the shave, you're going to be like, I wish that shave didn't end. You know, kind of like Melly Mel says, I'm sad because the shave has come to an end. Well, this one is coming to the end. And I have to say, I could keep going over my face repeatedly because it's just so nice and so smooth. And there is residual slickness there. As you can see, there's no dragging there on the razor. Phenomenal. Just a top-rate razor here. The Apollo Light Razor from Smart Helix. Absolutely phenomenal. All right. And we will call that a shave, but stay tuned because we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave, no nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the Magic Made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today using the HCNC White Star Soap. Again, this is the budget sort of uh, brand or budget offering from HCNC, $5.25 for this three ounce puck. Very nice. Uh, you will have to work a little harder to lather it than the Game Changer, but I got a nice lather with it and I thought it was very nice. You can also get the container as well for it. And if you do that, if you get them both together, it was like $8.25, so very good value. And I think people more and more are gonna be looking for value. So great job, Pete, HCNC. And if you do buy from HCNC, once again, Use promo code IMCDB and he will send you a free gift and thank you if you do. The razor for today, absolutely phenomenal. The Apollo Light Razor out of Ukraine. Uh, to me, easily one of the best razors in the world in my top five for sure. It is incredibly, it, it's an incredibly good shaver. There's just no question about it. The fit and finish, fantastic. Really, really awesome razor and I hope Smart Helix will be able to make more of these if they aren't currently uh, due to what's going on in uh, Ukraine. So our hearts, our thoughts, our prayers, you know, out to the people of Ukraine. Uh, our brush today, which I forgot to mention, was AP Shape Co. Handcraft, handcrafted series with the cashmere knot and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will finish it out today with the Wet the Face uh, Quiet Man, complete with the floaties there. And this is the next one I've targeted to use up. We finally used up that Fine Platinum, and now we're targeting this one to use up. Got to get rid of some of these aftershaves. All right, man, that is nice. And we're going to be off to the races and hopefully having a great day. And hope wherever you are, you have a great day as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.